All right, good morning. This is different for me. <laughs> I normally don't do videos on uh, Instagram or anything like that, but I decided to talk to you about Qigong today. Out of all the breathing exercises I've ever done before, Qigong really hits home with me because of the benefits, of course, that I receive and just how it, it separates itself in a good way. Uh, it is hard work. Uh, but first let me tell you, so Qigong are deep breathing exercises that allow you to harness or cultivate the life force energy called Qi. So you have the word Qi and then you have Qigong, where you have Gung, right? So Qi and Gung. The word Gung means work. And the two words put together life force energy, chi, and work, gung, allow you to harness. It says that it cultivates this life force energy. And when you're getting something like gathering or harvesting grain, if you're a farmer, you have something to show for it, right? If somebody says that. So you have, how do you know you have chi in abundance? you feel full. It's just that simple. Just like if I say, hey, I've got grain in abundance. You've got the silo, the, the silo grain, or the grain of silo to, to show that. So these exercises allow you to have this energy in abundance, like I said. So when you have this energy in abundance, it changes your health. It improves your health. It improves the function of your your organs. Uh, and if you understand that your own, your organs are the engine of your body, so when that has improved, it improves the outer parts of your body. Okay, it improves the functions of your of the things that you can see. So I often tell people these are aerobic exercises that that um, aerobic exercises for your organs, basically, okay? And just all the benefits start to fall in after that. You know, it's not about anything mystic, anything superstitious or anything like that. I tell you, if you hear anything like that, toss it out, you know? Um, it's tangible, it's real. So uh, often I put videos of people being punched. And if they say they practice Qigong, you can tell. Like when you're getting hit, it doesn't bother you because it's just like, it's like kicking a tire. It's like hitting a ball. Or even I like it when I see people who have on this, they put this whole ball globe spear thing around their body and they run, in each, they run into each other and they can't get hurt. Qigong does the same thing for your body once you become full. And so it's good for martial art practice practitioners. It's also good for just regular people who want to improve their health. It's good for if you practice massage. Um, it enhances everything else that you do in your life. So uh, physically. It also, if you're an athlete, it turns you into, you become like a super athlete. And that's what one of the things that the Shaolin Temple has done with their students, okay, the, their followers, their disciples. Uh, so within all of that, what you're doing too is reversing the aging process. You're slowing down the aging process. At one stage, you're slowing it down. And then as you improve with it, you know, there are some books I've read that have said it, it can reverse the aging process, <laughs> which sounds crazy. But it makes sense in the sense of, uh, of how I know chi functions. And uh, also too, when it, I, what I like about it is that it also, it's holistic in its approach to the practitioner. You know, it doesn't just make you flexible. It makes you flexible and strong, okay? It improves your endurance, improves your stamina. If you're a martial artist, it improves the power that you want to uh, use when punching, 
and to, for defending. You know, definitely I'm all about using martial arts for knowledge and defense. Um, also, too, the monks practice Kung Fu for cultivation of their mind, body, and spirit in one. So the mind part, I notice when people who practice their calm, their peace, when your mind is calm, my teacher said, no matter where you go, you will be on vacation. You know, it's us as humans that are, you know, think things, think wicked thoughts, mean thoughts, evil thoughts, you know. Uh, you know, so even, you always have to find balance in everything that you do, okay? Hey, okay, I, I see that, but mm, let me be grateful for what I know, okay? You know, looking to have a nice heart, a pure heart, a joyful heart, along with good health practices, you know? So, um, anything that you do, I don't care what you do, just, hey, do something that improves who you are as a person. You know, look for salvation, look for enlightenment. Also, look to, in, look to evolve to be a better you. And that's what I do as well, you know? I, I'm always looking for that, and it's always a fight. It's always a, a tug of war in our hearts and in our minds when it comes to doing that. Uh, but other than that, uh, I like to uh, encourage you to practice Qigong um, as much as possible. Also too, I'm gonna let you in a little hint. There, probably about 1% of the videos that you see online on YouTube are the truth. The other 99.9% .9 or whatever you want to say, however you want to say it, it they're, they're just, they, they show you the movement, but they're not teaching you. You know, there are a lot of people who are capitalizing off of Qigong and they, you, you just can't go on Qigong and, and learn it online. Qigong is passed down from one warm hand to another. So uh, you got to find a teacher. You have to find a teacher and a teacher who can guide you. And also, too, uh, the breathing is, is super important. Some people believe there are many ways to breathe when it comes to practicing Qigong. My teacher taught me a way that was different, that separates, separated itself from everybody else's style of breathing. And uh, that's what I teach my students and the ones who, you know, who are, who are doing it, they go, oh my God! And we'll do that together after we, isn't that feel amazing? You know, so since I've been practicing a little bit more about me, uh, since I've been practicing, like, yeah, all those things that I tell you about, my flexibility from the inside out has improved, you know. Um, and when I'm demonstrating, you know, or showing you things that have improved my bone density or my health, it's from the practice. You know, it allows me to do these things. Uh, I broke my arm. I'm thinking about today. I'm gonna put some videos of um, about eight years ago. I broke my arm, and I got surgery for it. But then I had to work on getting it healed, and uh, I didn't go to any physical therapy. I knew I could fix this thing myself with my medical background. Um, you know, from from the military my medical background, just from interest, having an interest in being a doctor. You know, so I said, okay, I'm gonna fix this thing. And what helped me out tremendously was all the Qigong exercises that I learned. And I'm so grateful, you know, um, for my teacher, my Shifu, uh, Shifu Golin, uh, he's out of New York City. Uh, he has classes online as well. And I'm only here to, uh, you know, just to share what I've learned. Um, my teacher's been practicing this stuff in his family as a tradition for almost 670 something years. And uh, I'm blown away by that. That's 1350 Ming Dynasty type stuff. And they've been here for a while. <laughs> All it does is keep improving your family. I learned things like you can inherit chi. You know, there are a lot of analogies that we have with money. They're the same with chi. You know, uh, different things like that. So, other than that, uh, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to hit me up, uh, send me a direct message, or whatever message way you can get in contact with me. I'm Itofo.